Homer, what on earth is this proof by induction thing my teacher keeps talking about? They keep on saying it can prove all sorts of results, but how does it even work? No worries, Cartman. Let me help. We use proof by induction when we want to prove something is true for all natural numbers or similar. Imagine an infinite chain of dominoes. If you knock the first one over, each domino will knock over the next one all the way to infinity. Okay, I get that, but how does that apply to something like prove that the sum of the first n integers is n times n plus 1 over 2? Well, let's think about the dominoes. We need to show that the first domino gets knocked over. This is the case n is equal to 1, called the base case. Clearly, 1 does equal 1 times 1 plus 1 over 2, so the base case is satisfied. Now we need to do what is called the inductive step. Oh, now I remember my teacher talking about this. So we need to show that if a domino gets knocked over, it will also knock over the next one. This is like assuming the sum of the first n integers does indeed equal n times n plus 1 over 2, and then seeing whether this holds for case n plus 1? Yes, exactly. And by adding n plus 1 to both sides, we see that the sum of the first n plus 1 integers is n plus 1 times n plus 1 plus 1 all over 2. So the inductive step is satisfied. This means all the dominoes get knocked over, or that the sum of the first n natural numbers is indeed n times n plus 1 over 2. Okay, so whenever I hear induction, I need to think of dominoes. If the first domino gets knocked over, and domino n getting knocked over implies domino n plus 1 gets knocked over, this must mean all the dominoes get knocked over. So now I'm not asking. 